Let's apply our understanding of equilibrium concepts to solve a um, gas phase equilibrium problem. In this problem, we have a vessel that is charged with one bar of fluorine and it decomposes to form fluorine atoms and we want to know the total pressure at equilibrium. So the first thing we always need to do when we do an equilibrium problem is to start by writing the equilibrium reaction. And so we're talking about fluorine in the gas phase that decomposes, falls apart, to form fluorine atoms. So I have to know that fluorine in the gas phase is a diatomic. And that diatomic fluorine is going to form two fluorine atoms in the gas phase. And I'm told that the equilibrium constant for this equilibrium is equal to 0.27. Now, the problem says that the vessel is charged with one bar of fluorine. What that means is that I initially have one bar of fluorine. And I don't have any fluorine atoms because I have not charged the vessel. I have not put any fluorine atoms in at the beginning of my reaction. So to get to equilibrium, I am going to have to make fluorine atoms. And to make fluorine atoms, I'm going to have to lose diatomic fluorine. So every time I lose, I use up one of these, I make two of these. And so my change to get to equilibrium is that I have lost X amount, I don't know how much, diatomic fluorine to make two fluorine atoms, 2X. So at equilibrium, I am going to have one minus X as my amount of diatomic fluorine, and I'm going to have 2X fluorine. Remember that the equilibrium expression for this reaction can be written as the pressure of fluorine, and I need to square that because I have two fluorines for every um, diatomic fluorine, divided by the pressure of my reactants, F2. And that is going to be equal to 0 0.27 which is the numerical value of my equilibrium constant. So now I can see that at equilibrium, I have these amounts, 2x of the fluorine atoms and 1 minus x of the uh, diatomic fluorine. So I will substitute in my expressions for the equilibrium amounts, and I will have 2x, I have to square that, divided by 1 minus x, and that's equal to 0.27. In order to find the total pressure in this system, I need to know the pressure of fluorine atoms and the pressure of uh, diatomic fluorine. Since this is a gas phase reaction, this equilibrium constant will be in terms of pressures, and so x will be in terms of pressures and have units of bar. So if I know x, I will know the pressure of fluorine atoms, and I will know the pressure of diatomic fluorine at equilibrium, and I can express the total pressure as the sum of those two things. So it will equal 1 minus x plus 2x, or the total pressure is equal to 1 plus x. So if I can solve this equation for x, I can find the total pressure. So I need to solve this equation for x. So algebraically, I solve that by multiplying through both sides by 1 minus x. So 0 0.27 times 1 minus x is equal to, and I'm going to square the numerator, 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared. So I have 0, so if I um, distribute the 0.27 over the 1 minus x, I have 0 0.27 minus 0.27x is equal to 4x squared. And so I have a quadratic equation, and to solve the quadratic equation, I need to get it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So I need to um, subtract both of these terms from both sides to give me 4x squared 
plus 0.27x minus 0.27 is equal to 0. And now we have um, a form that we can use the quadratic equation on to solve um, this problem. So the quadratic equation is x is equal to um, the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And in this problem, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 0.27, and c is equal to minus 0.27. And so if I plug that in to my calculator and solve that quadratic equation, I will find that x is equal to 0 0.22, and it has units of bar because this is a kp. Finally, I will plug x into my expression for the total pressure, and I can see that my total pressure at equilibrium will be equal to 1.22 bar. So remember that my pressure started at 1 bar, and when I made some fluorine um, atoms, I made two for every one fluorine that I lost, and so my pressure went up because I ended up with more total um, atoms or molecules in my system than I started with. So I have a higher pressure than what I started.